welcome to my day in Nanjing, China. Hello! So today is the Dragon Boat Festival here in China. And I know this is actually um, a holiday that's celebrated worldwide. And personally, I found it really confusing to find information on it. Sorry, I'm like walking through my like laundry area right now. It's kind of ridiculous looking, isn't it? Well, personally, I found it a little hard to find um, good information uh, online about it. So <laughs> I actually put together a blog post for you guys that kind of takes the question, what is the Dragon Boat Festival? And gives you like a really condensed answer, like I like to do with historical stuff like that. So today, all we know that we're doing is going to a lake to watch a dragon boat race. And apparently it goes on all day, so I'm not really sure how long we'll be there for or when we're going. Right now, I am making some like red bean bun things because I'm hungry. I actually woke up at like 5 a.m. Weirdly, I, this hasn't happened to me like in a while. But I woke up at 5 a.m., got out of bed at 6 a.m., and then I did a little work this morning, and then the VPN went down. So I'm thinking it's probably because of the holiday, because Google, YouTube, uh, Gmail, like all that stuff is blocked in China, as is a lot of other stuff, and you can only access through VPN. So during these holidays, the government will often restrict all access to VPNs as well. Like they always have the power to do that. They just like, they don't. It's kind of a weird situation, but today they've decided to. So the internet went down. I mean, the VPN went down around like 8, maybe 8.30. So, oh, look at this. Nice, on my new shirt. That's what you get for buying things at H&M, I guess. So my point was that I ate breakfast like ridiculously early and now I'm hungry again. So welcome to my day. In Nanjing, China. Is this not the creepiest thing you've ever seen? Last time I vlogged, I think it was around uh, 1 30 in the afternoon, and now it is about 4 30 in the afternoon. I've just been enjoying the fact that my VPN is working again. So, I've actually been doing research for my upcoming trip to Hong Kong, which is in like three days. 
So it's pretty upcoming. I'm, I kind of put off the planning. I'm creating kind of an itinerary for myself because I'm going actually by myself. Eric is staying here. He has school starting on Sunday again. And I'm going to be meeting up with my old college roommate. But she's actually in Hong Kong for a specific trip with a group. And so I'm not really sure exactly what they have planned. So I'm basically creating a three-day Hong Kong itinerary for myself. I'm trying to keep it pretty local. I was thinking of going to Lama Island, but now I am, I think I decided against it. But once I have this all finalized, I'll definitely share it with you guys. So we actually just ate burritos in China. I know, crazy, right? I forgot to vlog it. I didn't get guac. That's the big news of the day. Now we're headed to a bar to go play pool. I'm assuming you can't hear me very well, but we're actually headed into this place called Craft Beer. We're gonna go grab some bottles. any interesting facts about the dragon festival please let me know it has been months since i watched the dragon boat races but i do remember being slightly disappointed and i'm not sure exactly why was there something missing from our experience maybe like the whole thing with having family and food and like familiarity is really nice during the holiday but we it was just eric and i we had a great day though i remember that was a really that was a fun day in nanjing and i i really liked living in nanjing i think i preferred beijing better but nanjing's got a special place in my heart well thank you for watching today guys and we'll be back to the normal daily vlogs tomorrow okay bye